For centuries, the ground beneath the Temple Mount has defied science, politics, and faith. No one was allowed to dig, no one dared to scan. But when artificial intelligence finally mapped the bedrock in secret, the results sent shockwaves through every department involved. One researcher said the data looked older than recorded history, and that was before they found the sealed chamber no one was supposed to see. The Temple Mount is one of the most restricted places on Earth. Every stone above it has a guardian. Every inch beneath it carries the weight of three religions and a thousand years of conflict. The idea of sending machines under that ground was unthinkable, until a small team of analysts discovered a loophole. They didn't dig, they scanned. Using archived British mandate maps, old Ottoman survey notes, and modern ground-penetrating radar, they trained an AI model to recreate a 3D image of everything hidden below the surface. It was meant to be a quiet experiment, a digital ghost map, nothing more. At first, the model produced static and noise, just as critics expected. But then, the shapes appeared. Lines too straight to be natural. Spaces where no caves should exist. Angles that matched nothing from the Roman or Byzantine eras. And one formation stood out from the rest, buried deeper than anyone predicted. At first, the team assumed it was a glitch, an echo in the scan, maybe interference from nearby structures. But when they layered the AI render over the oldest British tunnel sketches from the 1800s, everything locked into place with chilling precision. The lines matched the forgotten notes of Charles Warren, the officer who risked his life crawling under the mount with oil lamps and rope. His maps hinted at voids he was never allowed to enter. The AI showed them with perfect clarity. Then came the depth readings. The formation wasn't near the surface, it sat far below the known tunnels, carved directly into bedrock that predated Herod's expansions and Roman reconstruction. One analyst ran the timestamps twice, then a third time. The strata didn't line up with anything from the Second Temple period. Someone or something built it earlier. But that wasn't what made the scientists turn pale. It was the symmetry. Natural caves don't form with 90-degree angles. They don't produce parallel corridors or matching chamber dimensions. Yet the AI mapped a layout with mathematical precision. Walls aligned in straight runs, stairs carved into descending layers, and a central space positioned with intentional geometry. It wasn't erosion. It was engineering. The team cross-referenced the layout with known underground systems across the region. Nothing from the Crusader period matched it, nothing from the Byzantine era matched it. Even Herodian construction, famous for its stonework, didn't fit the pattern. But Iron Age architecture did. That was when the tone in the room changed. The oldest biblical temples were said to rest on hidden foundations, platforms built over chambered stone to protect what was sacred. Most historians dismissed that idea as metaphor. Now a machine was drawing it in exact detail. Still, one section of the map remained a blank silhouette, an area the AI labeled obstructed, and it was bigger than the rest. The obstructed zone showed no cracks, no channels, no signs of collapse. It was a sealed space, intact, untouched, and shaped with deliberate boundaries. The AI estimated its height, length, and depth based on surrounding density readings. The dimensions were not random. They aligned almost perfectly with the measurements recorded in the Book of Kings for a chamber once described as the holiest place on earth. Still, no one in the lab spoke those words out loud. Instead, they studied the areas around it. Smaller side chambers branched off the main void, some connected to narrow passageways that dipped deeper than any known cistern system. Others led toward what appeared to be water channels, channels that predated Hezekiah's tunnel by centuries. One engineer tried to dismiss it as geological anomaly. Another zoomed in on the corners, where the stone met the bedrock with unnatural sharpness. But before anyone could agree on what they were seeing, the AI flagged something else. A blockage. The blockage wasn't random debris. It was a constructed barrier dense, uniform, and positioned with precision along the entrance of the largest chamber. 
When the AI enhanced the scan, the outline sharpened into something unmistakable. A stone door. Not a slab that fell into place, not a collapsed wall. A fitted door, sealed into the bedrock, as if meant to be found only when the time was right. Its edges were impossibly clean for its age. The program estimated the stone weighed several tons, but showed no signs of shifting or decay. Behind it, the chamber expanded into darkness the sensors couldn't fully penetrate. That was when one analyst cross-checked similar formations logged in ancient tunnels beneath Megiddo, Gezer, and Hazor, cities tied to the reign of Solomon. Their sealed vaults shared the same pattern, antechamber, barrier, interior room. But something else about this one didn't match those sites. It sat deeper, too deep, and directly under sacred ground. News of the scan was never meant to leave the lab, but fragments of the findings reached the wrong ears. Within days, quiet pressure came from officials who wanted updates and others who wanted silence. The team was warned not to label the chamber, not to speculate, not to assign it any connection to temples, relics, or biblical architecture. But the data kept raising questions no one wanted to answer. If the structure predated Herod and the tunnels weren't Roman, then who built them and why seal a chamber that deep unless it protected something more valuable than stone? A historian on the advisory board pointed out a troubling detail. Religious law forbids entering the holiest of spaces without ritual cleansing. If this chamber truly aligned with descriptions of the ancient sanctuary, even approaching it, even digitally, could trigger outrage across multiple faiths. Yet the scans showed something that made the silence even heavier. The chamber wasn't empty. The AI wasn't built to identify objects, only space, density, and structural patterns. But something inside the chamber reflected differently than stone. It wasn't metal, at least not any alloy found in later eras. It wasn't pottery, wood, or bone either. The reading suggested a carved feature, central, elevated, and surrounded by ash traces embedded in the floor. One researcher compared its placement to ritual basins found near ancient sanctuaries across the Levant. Another quietly mentioned something else, Biblical descriptions of offerings placed before the Divine Presence. The room went silent. Before any conclusions could shake shape, the system picked up something else. Markings on the interior walls. The resolution was too low to decode, but early processing hinted at straight-line inscriptions, not natural fractures. The team argued over running a higher-frequency scan. Some warned it might alert outside systems or trigger internal logs that couldn't be buried later. But the hesitation didn't matter. Someone had already seen enough. Within hours, access to the project server was restricted. External backups were locked. The lead technician received a message marked Temporary Hold, though no one could confirm who issued it. Officially, nothing had been discovered. Unofficially, the files were already circulating through encrypted channels among a handful of analysts who refused to let the scans disappear. One of them compared the chamber's proportions to ancient sources, including the Book of Kings and the Mishnah. The match was not exact, but close enough to unsettle anyone who understood the implications. Another analyst pulled records of muon imaging tests quietly conducted near the western wall tunnels. Those scans, never released, had also shown voids deeper than any known construction period. Two things suddenly became clear. First, this wasn't the only scan. Second, someone had known for years that something was buried far beneath the surface. But none of those findings mentioned a sealed stone door. Or the basin inside. The debate within the team split into three camps. Some believed the chamber was a first temple relic, sealed before the Babylonian invasion. Others argued it could be even older, a pre-Israelite sanctuary absorbed into later construction. But a smaller group feared something else, that every new discovery risked igniting a disaster above ground.
If the chamber belonged to Solomon's era, every religious and political faction with ties to the mount would claim ownership. If it held writings or artifacts older than that, it could challenge long-standing beliefs across all three Abrahamic faiths. The question was no longer academic, it was explosive. A request was filed to run one final scan at higher depth and resolution, using protocols normally reserved for classified defense sites. The system processed the grid overnight, then froze mid-sweep. The program detected one more obstruction. Not a wall, not a cistern, a passage, and it led even deeper. The passage was narrow, almost hidden in the density map, as if whoever built it wanted it shielded from everything above. The AI traced its angle and depth, then overlaid ancient topography across the old bedrock layers. What emerged didn't match any modern tunnel or known cistern. It sloped downward beneath the sealed chamber, cut with precision, and disappeared into unmapped stone. But what stopped the room cold was the end point. The data suggested a second chamber, larger than the first and shaped with a symmetry that didn't occur in nature. Its outline curved, not squared, as though designed to cradle something rather than store it. And at its center, the scan showed a void no one could identify, neither solid nor empty, neither metal nor mineral. Before the final render could complete, the feed cut out without warning. No alert, no log, no trace. Only one line remained on the analyst screen. Access suspended. Further detection restricted.